Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition, Love and General Reading. Uh, this is for the element of air. So if you're a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, these messages are for you for the weekend of September 4th through the 6th, 2020. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind, these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but uh, hopefully you get some clarity. Um, if you're wanting to purchase a reading, be sure to check out the description box to find out ways to reach me. Um, but payments and orders for video and um, email readings are collected on Fridays. All right, so we have the central issue, heart of the matter as the nine of wands. We have the seven of swords. We have strength. And we have the two of cups. The Will, the Knight of Swords, the Hermit, and the Six of Pentacles. All right, so the overall energy is that there may be trust issues or I feel like you are suspicious of what someone has said or you might be suspicious of someone around you you might be feeling like someone around you is hiding something or lying and it does look like someone has been hiding or withholding information from you um, I feel too that someone there's a lack of courage going on there also may be a need for you to overcome your insecurities um, especially too if you do discover that you or you're aware that um, you can self-sabotage yourself in any situation depending on what it is I feel like maybe you are um, you know just trying to figure out how to overcome that obstacle um, I do feel like there is some sort of snooping, especially it could be a Leo snooping or trying to find out information um, or trying to find out something to use against you. Mm. I feel that someone has hurt you in the past and just make sure that you aren't using fear as a crutch. Uh, fear as an excuse to not move forward with something that um, is meant to happen now I do uh, immediately it does look like <clears throat> these challenges will be overcome um, if there is someone who wants to come forward I feel like this person will overcome that fear and anxiety and have the courage to um, let their guards down with you and in turn it looks like you would let your guards down uh, for this person or for this you know love situation and even if you don't know this person from your past it still can indicate whoever is coming towards you um, you know they had a lack of courage for whatever reason but I feel like now this person is going to open up and let their guards down. And maybe too, because you understand or you know the, they're putting themselves out there, maybe this is why you're opening up to hearing what this person has to say. Um, I also feel that romantically, uh, there is a relationship that is destined to be or something like destiny has guided you guys together. Um, in the past, maybe something didn't work out because the conditions just weren't right, the timing was off, and this may be an indication that uh, the timing is much better now. Um, now, I also feel that if this doesn't take place uh, by the weekend, something could be happening um, or you could be matched with someone or have a connection with someone. Uh, for my female viewers around the time of your um, your period I'm also getting that um, a connection could happen for you if not uh, this month then maybe during Libra season 
Um, I feel like your luck is about to change. If it is not a romantic match, it doesn't matter. I feel like you find your match in something that you wanted or needed. You find the perfect job, the perfect car, the perfect home. So I feel like um, something's definitely been leading up to this. I also feel that if this is about you pursuing some sort of goal or passion, um, I feel too that what is happening, like everything has been, it's like spirit has been just waiting for you. Like there's not necessarily a time restraint, but it's, it's, it's just like spirit is like, we've just been waiting for you or the universe more so. It's like, we've just been waiting for you to take action or to take a move. So because you uh, put yourself forward in any type of goal that you had in mind, it, it finally, things start to play out. Um, or there's movement after some sort of stagnation. Um, now you could be dealing with any sign, but like I said, Leo is showing up, um, Virgo, it could, could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel too like someone has been looking for you, spying on you. Someone's been really doing some sort of research. Um, someone's really been looking into your life. Now, of course, that makes more sense when you are applying for some sort of job and, you know, especially certain jobs that require a background check and maybe want a urine sample. Um, so th that definitely comes into play. So it could be job related, like you feel you're in love with the new job you just found. You feel like it's a perfect match for you. It couldn't have happened at a better time. Um, and now everything's just being completed. You know, you're turning in that paperwork and um, letting them run their background check. And then after everything clears, I feel like they are making that offer to you. This could be anything that you put in for. If you put in for assistance, a loan, or you needed some sort of finances, I feel like it's going to be given to you. Um, now, also, I feel that you are being led to open up your mind about something or you're being led to some sort of information or knowledge. I feel like spirit is trying to get you to follow your your karma or your heart, the thing that is mapped out for you. I see you also digging deep into your birth chart because you're trying to understand, those of you that study astrology, I feel like you're trying to understand something about your path um, something about your life. So I feel like you're turning to astrology for that, for answers. Um, you also might be getting information about somebody to try to find, you're like trying to find out somebody's birth time um, or trying to find out when someone was born so that you can look and see, um, get a more accurate astrology reading on them. So either you are doing this spying or someone is doing the spying on you. I also, this looks too though, like someone is actually being paid. Someone is like a hired researcher um, or being paid. Maybe you're paying someone for an astrology reading um, over a tarot reading this time. You're like, let me see, can you give us a synastry report or um, what do you see? So I feel like someone is paying for um, knowledge that they don't have or have access to or is just too close to the situation to understand something for themselves so it's just like okay let me pay someone to find out this information or to tell me what I need to know now it also looks like those of you that are you know some sort of teacher or professor or something's going on where you're being paid for your your knowledge your insight your wisdom um, maybe you wrote a book. Um, maybe you are some sort of healer and people are just paying you for, you know, your knowledge. Um, it could be reversed. Maybe this is you paying someone for their information and knowledge, but that's what I'm seeing here. Um, some of you also may be thinking about 
going back to school. Um, and I also feel that romantically, this does indicate some sort of uh, karmic debt that is being paid off. Something like, I, f I feel like you're finally getting what you deserve. Um, but this is, of course, in a more positive way. Um, so it's like something's being returned to you or given to you. Um, you asked or prayed for something and spirit is like, here you go. This is what you need. You also might be making some sort of donation or doing some sort of act of kindness this weekend or someone is doing this for you. Definitely looks like you're you're digging deep. You might go into hermit mode, trying to figure something out, um, trying to understand something. You might be up late at night still reading something on your phone or Googling things. Um, I feel like you are in research mode, especially too if you meet someone new. I feel like you immediately are like, what time were you born? Like you're just going straight for it. Um, what's your sign? What time were you born? Okay, thank you. And then it's like you're going to do your own research. Hmm. If you've been waiting, if someone owes you money, I feel like someone's going to give you what they owe you. Um, I'm seeing something about paying off a student loan. Either you are able to pay off your student loan or there's a donation coming in and someone is helping you pay that off. Um, if you filled out an application for a loan, I feel like you get it. You also could be paying off some sort of uh, credit card debt. Mm. I feel too if you felt like someone owed you an apology I feel like someone is giving you an apology or you might be giving someone an apology, but either way, it looks like uh, there's going to be forgiveness. Anything that has been in balance will be back on track. Those of you concerned about your health, I feel like maybe you're trying to find ways to either lose weight or gain weight depends on your situation. Um, but it does look like you are being very tedious, like you're reading ingredients and or counting your calories um, or whatever, uh, your macros, like you're looking at everything, being very detailed about it, making sure that you don't go over your limit. If you're making any purchases this weekend, I feel like it's you're doing it because you can afford it um, and you're trying to stay within budget. I feel in regards to any type of legalities, something goes in your favor. Someone might be suspicious of you though, as well. I love when it happens. Two of Cups clarified by Two of Cups. So you guys definitely look like you're making some sort of match or connection. Uh, something is leading you to this person or leading you towards your passion. It's a match. Uh, your intuition led you here. I feel too like there's going to be clarity or an understanding why someone has been distant or guarded. I've got the emperor coming out too. So someone, the emperor likes to do things on their schedule. They like to be in control of everything. Um, 
I feel like if there have been some sort of power struggles in a situation, someone is now kind of playing fair uh, or deciding to um, for the, that there needs to be some sort of mutual, something needs to be mutual. So I feel like this person is letting go of their um, their uh, power control or their their you know their their reason for wanting to be in control all the time you also may be deciding to start your own business or you're being aligned with the person that's going to help you get your business off the ground if this is about being pursued i feel like your pursuer knows what they want and they're being confident now. If they weren't speaking up before, I feel like now they will. Someone wants you to know that they've been thinking about you or they want to confirm that they are still thinking about you. I also see something has been dead or quiet Something that's been dead or quiet is going to start over or renew. Hmm. I also feel that something's going on with anxieties. Um, if you've been having some sort of anxieties, I feel like it's coming to an end. Um, I'm seeing something about unexplained um, fears. I also feel that a spirit has been visiting you in dreams someone who's already crossed over I feel like you've been communicating with someone uh, in dreams and they also might give you a message that confirms something mm. with death here too I, I'm also seeing that there's going to be an end of secrets or confusion I feel like maybe someone's been um, very secretive or very quiet, but I feel like maybe someone's now ready to open up or talk. If you have been suffering from trust issues, I feel like you're going to be um, ready to let that go. I'm getting something about fixed energy. Something's going on with uh, fire and earth. And water. It was destined that you met these individuals. For some of you, it's business related. For some of you, it's uh, romantic related. But it was meant for you to come across the fire sign, the earth sign, and the water sign. You had karma with these people. But it looks like that debt is being repaid. Yeah, and then it, again, this is just, it's, it's playing out. You may have been on some sort of journey where your life, you just felt like, you know, you were on autopilot, you were just um, waking up and just living day by day, um, not really putting too much thought, but all along, I feel like you've been living your destiny, like something has been guiding you on this path. I feel like someone's also, like from a spiritual standpoint of view, someone has been sending you telepathic messages. And then I also feel that uh, spirit guides have been assisting you on this journey as well.
Wow. Six of Pentacles clarified by Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are getting ready to receive uh, an inheritance um, or some sort of payoff or anything that gives you a sense of stability and or security. Um, something's definitely being confirmed. I feel like there's also been some sort of negotiation uh, whatever has been getting, uh, whatever this negotiation has been, I feel that it goes in your favor. It's mutual, but you really, this this is, a, it was worth it. Something is uh, a nice payoff. If you were going to gamble or go to the casino, only if you were going to do these things. I, I don't want to encourage you to do that if that's not something that you normally do. But let's say you were already thinking about doing that or already have, have plans um, to gamble or play the lotto this weekend, I would say chances are, chances look pretty good that you would uh, come into some money. Um, and like I said, if anyone owes you money, I see them giving it to you, plus maybe even interest or something extra. Um, if someone is apologizing to you or trying to make amends, I feel that they're buying you an expensive gift. It's possible that this is also a marriage proposal, but if this relationship is too new, it could lead to marriage. There's also the possibility that you will meet this person through family um, or a, a community, a large community. Somebody is also paying for a trip. I'm seeing someone get a, um, I see someone donating, making a um, anonymous donation. Hmm. Yeah. There also could have been some sort of back and forth. Um, you could have been debating with yourself about some sort of decision. There could have been two people that you were trying to make a decision about. If this is a new job, I just feel like you're about to come into some nice money. Um, if you work for yourself, I feel like you are getting ready to take on um, a lot of clients or um, a big client. Um, I also, and then like I said, I see something in regards to an agreement signing documents. Now also somebody might be coming into property or inheriting property or something is being passed down to you through family or relatives, your ancestors, like you might be needing to carry out some sort of legacy, like this is your destiny. I see something happening where there's this, someone is feeling really inspired to take action. Yeah. So something definitely pays off for you guys. Let me look at some additional messages here. All right. What additional messages are there for air signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? What are the messages? The Temple Path, Woman Holding a Coin, Deceit, 
and central issue walking away. All right, so the overall energy, it looks like you left something behind to follow your path, especially if it's a spiritual path. Um, it also looks like maybe you were being guided. Someone also may be deciding to walk away from a situation and they're coming towards you. There has been some deception around you or someone may be trying to bribe you. I feel like a bribe. Someone may be getting paid to be quiet or um, getting some sort of hush money or someone is paying you but but you don't know where the money is coming from. Maybe someone is paying you with stolen money. Um, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Like if someone, like you have your own business and somebody is paying you with a stolen credit card. Um, if it's not that, I just feel like there is still some sort of deception in regards to what's being offered to you or what's being given to you. Now, also on a lighter note or a positive note, I did pick up on anonymous donation. So it's possible that, you know, someone is being deceptive about who they are, but they're donating or giving you some sort of money or giving you some sort of gift. And then my phone buzzed at 5.44 in my time, that's funny. Um, and I just saw 44, 444 earlier. So that could also be confirmation for those of you that see um, master numbers or if you want to call them angel numbers, synchronicities. Hmm. Now, going back to the temple path, I do feel like something is uh, the path of enlightenment. Now, the only other thing I am concerned about is that be careful who you pay your money to or give your money to because you might be for instance like if you go to some sort of church i don't know about that pastor what's he really doing with the money um the readers that you give money to are they really uh, are their intentions really good um so be careful with that um also something in regards to somebody paying you like paying about to find out information about you somebody might be doing that like i said i was getting something about spying maybe someone feels like they're being followed or watched and it, that it is possible maybe your intuition is telling you that and i also see somebody feeling like they need to seek refuge they need to take shelter they're trying to escape or get away from a path. Somebody might be trying to find themselves and they, they're coming to you uh, for guidance or advice or just help in general. I, I'm sorry, I got to see this. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, I don't like deceit and financial constraints going on. I feel like I feel like maybe someone is taking money from you or taking something personal away from you, um, something valuable, or you are spending money in ways that is not good. There is something going on deceptive. Hmm. Somebody also might be selling empty promises. Like somebody is like, help me to uh, establish this or help me to establish that. And I feel like maybe that's not necessarily what this person is doing. Be careful in regards to any type of small group or community that you join because something else is going on behind the scenes 
that you might be unaware of. And I'm also getting something about an altar. Like, I don't know about someone's intentions when it comes to uh, their altar. Hmm. Be careful what you're invited to join, period. Because something might just be a front or something might be a cover up. Something might be coming off as opposed to being something spiritual when it's really not. So just kind of be aware of that. And then I just heard that song, What About Your Friends by TLC. Um, so I don't know if you can trust your circle of friends or somebody in that belongs to the same group or organization as you. Um, I don't know, they, they might not be a true friend. They might just be getting close to you to find out information from you. So that's, that sounds like it's more about a warning for you. So you kind of trust your intuition on that. Hopefully that helps though. Um, especially like, let's say you just, and I did mention something about getting an inheritance. So if you do come into some wealth and then all of a sudden people are flocking, people are calling you and trying to be your friend, eh, be careful about that. All right, so yeah, hopefully those help. Those messages helped. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.